Thank you, Jav. Ah, Jav, man. Tsepo means hope. Kas khuwa kure uskala sla tsepo aule motu kupilomba. Whatever crisis so me tana ndizona, utlamele ure udulewele tsepo ya umu muti mubi. Tuta ulali kaputa juu ya mupilo utswene pele. Kuba right. Hello, Baba. Yes, yes, yes. We first filmed Tsepo when he was seven. He was one of a group of children from all over South Africa. It was 1992, and they had very little in common. Black, white, rich, and poor. Some lived in townships, some in white suburbs, officially segregated by apartheid. It was only two years since Mandela's release from prison and the racist policies of the past were just beginning to crumble. Since then, we have followed their lives, filming them every seven years. In 1994, Nelson Mandela became their president, and as they grew up, every South African was made equal by law, regardless of color. Now they are 28, we hear from them again. Claudia was a very lively seven-year-old, living in a colored area near Soweto. You cannot go and buy love in this shop. You can't go, <laughs> you can't go and say, look, I want to buy, I want to buy, please. I want to buy love for my mother. You can have millions of friends, but you can't go and buy your mother love. You can't. When I was seven, I see this little child, biggest smile on her face, bright sparkling eyes. <laughs> I think I kind of see myself as a little light bubble, jumping around, full of hope and full of anticipation, full of ideas. And then 14? I think I was very introverted at 14. like the light went away, like the sparkle. Then not know where it went to. At 21? At 21, still definitely exploring and learning about myself. I think very driven. Not afraid to try things. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. at uh, 28? <laughs> mm, supposedly grown up. Um, supposedly a professional. I think my parents are quite proud. They have told me that they're very proud of me. Why do I write as a capital letter? Green. Right, when Claudia was seven, schools were still segregated along racial lines. Would you like to go to a school with white children? No. Why not? I like it the way that it is. Your friends speak the same language as like you. you do. Your madam speaks, speaks the, the same, same language. By the time Claudia was 14, a lot had changed for her. She and her family had moved to a care home for abused children, where her father was the principal. There's a lot of violence that goes on in the area, because at night you hear a lot of gunshots. You've got the fear of being hijacked. Women have the fear of being raped. She had also moved schools and had gotten to a private school that specialized in science. <laughs> at my old school, we never had real science facilities. And at St. Barnabas, we've got four labs. And we regularly do experiments. And I think it's a better environment. By 21, the family had moved again to a comfortable house in the suburbs and Claudia had started a science degree at Witts University. Well, I wanted to do medicine. So the first one is the positive control. I wanted to be a doctor, save people. I just have a sense of needing to do something. And it scares me sometimes because there's so, there's so much that's wrong. At 
28, she is a junior doctor in pediatrics at the Chris Harney Baragwanath Hospital in Soweto. When you're a student, you, you talk to patients and you interview them. But there's a dramatic shift in when you qualify and you're now responsible for the care of somebody else. Her father now runs the university student halls, so Claudia lives in the residence on campus. I feel responsible to be of use and to give back and to try and make a difference because I have had opportunities. I mean, if there's one person in a family who's been really well educated, that has implications not just for themselves, but for their entire family. In the Soweto classroom, Tsepo is a very keen student. At 28, he works a 12-hour shift from 6 a.m. The first thing I feel is I greet everybody as normal. Because sometimes things happen. Sometimes things happen. Tsepo has lived all his life in an area called White City. White City is a place where you go to the Wherever you go, you can see the white city. 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 So no safe. At 14, his school had become more of a battleground than a place of learning. The banal alcohol come kakwam radi class and so never tiste bare a relika classin. Banakure are du tika classin, banalu shodi sakari feste reba kala tishir. From go fourteen years, I had to rico school on kit drop off. Kileka loza butuaga eh Nicholas will at Luka Falaka two thousand and three. So I had to re after then, Korke and Amtonare Tusa Kwai, I had to Riki and make a mouth to Kikwite. Oh, Mom said it's in Eskilimo, a security officer. But sometimes the IME number, get it 35, born. Get it 35, the IME. Yeah, Sheba, or maybe how na a boon to set a land like Wutwa, how na to set one mona a Kakasimula. I like make sure uh, the, 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 the building uh, is safe and the staff are mostly safe all the times. I'm back, I'm back. Sure.
Because I'm now a full-time student, I decided to move back home. I suppose I am 28, it's kind of funny that I'm still living at home, but to be brutally honest, I actually can't afford it at the moment. I've been quite lucky in that my father is happy for me to live at home and where need be, doesn't mind supporting me, especially now as I'm getting to the end of the course and it's kind of, I don't have much money left. Patrick grew up with his twin sister in Cape Town. His father, a leading lawyer or advocate, showed an early interest in Patrick's career. My dad says I should be an advocate. What do you think? It would work. He went to the best school in Cape Town, although when he was seven, he wasn't the academic type. Did you bring your uh, project book? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. At age seven, I was a bit of a loud mouth. My one teacher said I might go to prison one day. But yeah, other than that, nothing controversial happened. Um, I was actually a very good student by the end of it, thanks to those teachers. At 28, he's gone back to university to study for a master's degree. The point about this is that, of course, any particular consequence of the voyage is, in general, a consequence of a range of contributing factors, such as certain defects in the past. Even at 28, I'm still not really sure what defines me as a person. I was, in the earliest chapters of my life, a very sporty, athletic person. Like, I could just do that stuff very naturally, but now it's kind of, I don't really play sport anymore. As you get older, you're kind of searching for well, what else are you good at. Law, it's not something that comes easily to me. What I realize is that it's just so hard work. There's no like natural ability in law. It's actually just hard work at the end of the day. If you've done the work, you should hopefully be all right. Patrick's decided to go into maritime law. Yeah, it's just an interesting area of law. My father also does quite a lot of maritime law. He already knew at 14 that he had had a good start in life. I live in a nice house, I go to a nice school, I have good friends, you know, just very lucky, and to have a family. Who interests you in the film? It's like the people in the, in the squatter camps, you know. It's interesting to see what their lives are like and how they differ from ours, you know. Look at what we've got around us, we've got lovely houses for money. They live in shacks, in winter they, they're cold and they don't have food. And, you know, just like the basic necessities, it's not always there for them. Fourteen years later, the gap between rich and poor seems as wide as ever. Certainly, if I was kind of on the other side of the fence from where I am, I'd be very frustrated at what's going on. So I can understand um, what's happening in South Africa, where people's demands are coming from. Um, Obviously, I can't completely identify given the position I'm in. I've never been in a position like that. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty patent that things have to change. On the other side of Table Mountain, not much has changed in Leander's life. At the end of each month, there's a heavy demand on his pay packet. And I'm enjoying it, but taking it away seven years, it's not going to come back. And it's a pay I'm going to get six ninety. You can't buy even this thing. We this thing was just not buy. Bear in mind, you are the person with kids and family. Though he's still single, Leander had a son before he was twenty-one. His name is Asego. His nickname is Bob. Sometime before that, he had had a daughter. This one is Tinati. This one is my baby. I've been born ever since then. 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 
Since then, he's had another daughter with another woman, but still he is single. He spent much of his life in Cape Town. His family came to this hostel for migrant workers when he was a boy. Hey, Leander. Yes, man. <laughs> this is the whole place. This is where I used to stay. I used to play soccer around here when I was seven years old. I was playing soccer here with my friends. The township of Guguletu has always been a dangerous place to live. His friend Landiswa lived with her family in the next door room of the same hostel. Unlike Luanda, she went to school. And Diswa and Luanda both come from villages hundreds of kilometers from Cape Town. And at 14, they were back there, living at home. I'm a government Mandate to pay class in the Noya Corner, Mando Matanga, let's just get in Basil. At its time for Bowloch. Came like in their so came like in their men, those Halal and a band. I bat it up on what is in those are con. Not by my men, no by my men. Seven years later, both Andiswa and Luanda had moved back to the hostel. By the age of 21, Andiswa had been married and divorced. Three, 
abanye bayaphupha la line yami kudala ndithenza ujonga ndiye ngo February la line yami ndafika manxabe matsha ngabantu abatsha indanga zami lihlona iphile Andiswa became pregnant with another man but he left her when their child was born But go back and manning at Tipo for being a girl lose, a bell lose, you wait at Kuba Tandem, Tinga Lubana is a process of Bana Essenum Dan and thereafter Gangans, the Kila, which are Kui, and thereafter of Nikaja, Saka Billy, Akaiki, or Gany, and then thereafter understand Uban Noba Londole. But then Vengo, Gango, we have what almost Agapilango and this. I have been on Zuzan and this Ranga Sali up in a ticket, a best sailor, a lady. Resources at the hospital where Claudia works are stretched. Recently, her colleagues mounted a silent protest. There's a lot of people who are suffering in the world, and I think everybody knows that. But to see it so vividly every day. Most interns will tell you that especially at three o'clock in the morning when you're walking around Bera, that's definitely when you sit and wonder to yourself if you made the right decision. The hours are long. I'll go into hospital in the morning and I'll be there for the day and for the night. And then the next morning you'll see the new patients that you've admitted with a consulting doctor and then you'll see your old patients again after that. So the call days can be extremely long. Because of how busy our hospitals are and just because of the amount of patients we see, there's not always time to explain what's happening to them and what's wrong with them and what your treatment is going to be to the extent that you feel you should. Don't go easy on yourself. No. I need to learn to. 
that I'm not made of bricks or rock. I didn't realize that it would be so challenging on all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally. I didn't realize I would get to a point where I just felt exhausted and drained. But I think recently I've just had, I've had an epiphany of sorts where I've realized that if you keep on holding stuff inside, it's the pressure cooker effect that eventually it gets to the point where everything comes bursting out. And I'm learning that I'm a bit more fragile and a bit more vulnerable than I would care to acknowledge. <laughs> and that it's okay. Patrick has also suffered a shock to the system. What time did Dad leave for work? My mother and I, we were involved in a hijacking. I had quite a party the night before, so it was kind of mid-morning, 10, 30, 11. I was standing in the window of my parents' bathroom looking down, and I saw my mom driving in, so I kind of waited for her hanging out the window. And as she drove in, the gate started closing suddenly, like a car sh like stopped in front of the gate and two guys jumped out. They blocked the gate and then they ran at my mom. I didn't know at the time that they had guns. Probably be something I should have taken into account. But I was kind of, while the sc my mom was screaming, I was sprinting from upstairs and as you come out our front door, my mom was parked on the right. There was a guy on the one side with a gun in her face and then a guy standing on the other side about to get into the car. And then the guy kind of went from having the gun in my mom's mouth, just turned to me. So I kind of ran at him. And then like, I was like, whoa, like anything can happen now. Luckily he just ran. He had a handbag and they were kind of um, struggling for it. Grabbed her, pulled it in front of me. We ran back inside, luckily opened the gate. And then I think the guys obviously jumped in the car and got out of there. They caught the one guy and then there was an identity parade and I identified the one guy. We were state witnesses thereafter, so it went on for about five years and quite a frustrating process. Everybody talks about South Africa being a very violent country. It is indeed. But um, this was my first kind of experience of it. At the time, there's that pent up anger and then you sit in a courtroom and they stand in front of you and obviously walk in with their handcuffs. And you like stare at the guy and it changes from like, like that animosity to actually I felt sorry for the guys at the end because I realized it was just maybe they had no choice. On the other side of the mountain where Luyanda lives, Violence is ever present. <laughs> you can't just sit inside the house and start a look at the house. I'm going to post it on the scene that we're using, but at least I'm not going to tell you that you don't have to do that. Very little has moved on since he was seven. He lives in the same place and he faces the same problems. Now the gangs around the hostel are out of control. The police station in the police station in the police station and they just kept themselves they just kept themselves because they don't have to put it in the police station because they don't have to put it in 
abandu bangu mama ba lose onya na ba ba kono mnyo kala ya kubanchi so kwa mi. Bolile you are. Ndiyazi bala ni kati ndu ni ento nsa ayo kepa ya nubali kabinga kwa paga ni kwa azukono haba kwenye ndao. Bina kwa azukono haba kwenye ndao. Padu kiki kima niti nda wala iti. Seppo, his faith has helped him through the hard times. I can't do it because Kim Tang would think he's a real father or a king because me waka only limit on Nasan Joyce or in Tatuaka Kimang and Tlantle. It took it to discover in the second and sixteen years or in Tatuaka Kimang. A Kim Shoko Kaur and Tatuaka Nasi support if you go now. Like a battery lot of school, Kia Koena. They limp to Honang, Albanan and Lona Chalet, but we left Fela and Abam Tontinaya. Now he's become a father himself. Oh, oh, say, get it in Lena Monaki, get in great little bit of lie. and then and then I'm telling you to name me Amitanda. Snazo. Tepo's early family life was all too often marked by bereavements and hardships. Four years ago, his troubles became too much for him. Satan is a life of the world. It's like a tomb of Sometimes kina lwe Ameriko kina le kosi kina le stress niki suspect am sa juaka ko karwan shida niki mu suspect a kanti a yi tinfiu wido a ita la rikaba na jadi na li na akama na physically kama shapa kama kala orne se kina juwa la se kina bili kili abusive katu se kina se sexuality into sa wata wanta destroyed so abam chelo ngure kana ko arauna sampatla kizo bili bili a pelo baka. It's better to be a because I'm a little bit of 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 a little bit it was very painful. But you want to pillar one again, kill friends at Saka. There were no more there. They were gone. The only people who were in the house were supporting. The family was in the house. The family was in the house. They were family. They were in the house. 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 I went through hard times. So I went through hard times. This time, I went through the house. I went through the house. Yes, they did that. With a second child on the way, 
Ingrid has moved back to her parents' house nearby, leaving Tsepo to fend for himself. Personal intimate relationships. I don't know how to do them. I know lots of interesting people, but it's very difficult for me to be comfortable in an intimate relationship with somebody. I don't know how to open up enough. Do you want to get married when you grow up? You don't have to get married if you don't want to get married, Shane. It's up to you. It's not up to your mother. If you want to get if you meet a girl and you like her and you want to marry her, get married. And if you don't want to, don't. And then yourself? Don't force yourself. And yourself, do you want to get married? No. Why do you want to get married? No, 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 no. Are you in a relationship? No. Let's talk about that. <laughs> There's not much to talk about. I was a while ago. I learned a lot about myself and about how these things go. I'm a little sad about it, maybe. <laughs> For Claudia, work is the focus. I think my parents get quite excited if I tell them I'm going out on a date. But I'm generally very at peace with the way I am. I feel like I have so much on my own plate. But I don't have the capacity to also be able to deal with somebody else. Because if you're with somebody, then you should be committed enough to want to help them with those things that are difficult for them and to be able to support them with it. And if you're not of capacity to do that, then what are you doing there? So at this point in time, I need to deal with me. Would you like to have a family? I think so. I'm petrified about having children, to be very honest. For me, you should want to have a child because you're with somebody that you love and that you really still believe the world is this amazing place and that there are things to experience that are worth all the other effort and drama that comes with being alive on this planet that you really believe that so much that you want to give birth to somebody so that they can experience those things. And that you want to love them with everything that you have inside of you to love. And I don't know that I can do that. Against all the odds, Leander moved out of the hostel bought a shack with his girlfriend and set up home. Everything inside Leander had never lived with a girlfriend before in Tombovuyo. And I've tried to am going to walk up and I'm going to show up and I'm back later. I'll take it up with you because I'm being in town and I'm going to go on and on. Yeah, so like I go like, why are you building a band? I go not that way to not that way. But because of my bella, just the ladies don't do don't do that. But by business, I go and be simple. It was midnight, 
and it man puma apparently hey we in your little dog because that puma going down that puma is not in nancy guys shower i'll come i can let her in a woman and over in my job in my book on the zone i mean he's an ending at that night you got power what call him full of food and then go go back in it and box seven and see game of and I was going to be a little bit of a new pie and a pants, but the petty. But you got again, and then you lose the hope. Get two by what one cause on life because yes, one cause the camera. One be is a passing and I can get any dating. They have to live on a new way to have a good eye. I see we have a good eye. Second scene. I saw some discard in Andy's person to Nanai. Think I was those bambini in base in this one as well. And Jay, out of nowhere, because of Nicking and I. Bandas Cade, Bandania Mason. That's in that channel, go in a blunder or go in fate. If ever now was what to Mosolega Pog, he played me a cozy baby, come as we are, Zubana. I have tried to save her, and I'm Bana Maupin. But it's just like I couldn't make it. You can just imagine from the first day I ends again. The house saying I think Ulu Langa Lopala ends again. Boni Langa Lacho Nam Nagut and a keko Lena Indo Yako at this time, Gugu, and thereafter. You are just telling yourself that, okay, maybe go could build a life here. My own life is Butat and I are in the little care, good, you know, my mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Patrick's having lunch with his father and sister. I'm very proud of him because he's done superbly, um, both sporting-wise, because he's a very good rugby player, but academically in the last year, his Masters, he's really, I think, surprised everybody. Yeah, before that I wasn't much of an academic or a student. Um, probably explains why I'm a lot more diligent than my father. I probably realise I'm not as natural as he is. Are you in a relationship? Um, I was up until two weeks ago, so I'm single again, but um, yeah. Certainly, I'm moving on a bit now at age 28, so my kind of focus in the next few years is to find a nice wife and, yeah, get married, have children. Cheers. And his other... Now that Patrick's completed his master's, he's planning to leave South Africa. But Patrick, as you know, is going to Singapore, so uh, perhaps he'll come home with an Asian beauty. Yeah, Asia would be a nice place. Shipping was massive in Hong Kong. I was in Singapore about a month and a half ago. Uh, there are so many ships that seem to have dropped anchor. That it's, um, yeah, I've actually never seen that many ships in my life before, so. He might not be a very good shipping lawyer, but he certainly sounds like one, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Tsepo is also a proud father and has plans for his daughter's future. Bali vision ya high for school. Okay, we shall carry Bali. Come of, come of a support. Eh, 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 oh, enga tau. No, because na kai thola opportunity ya ori. Ki school on kabla. No, ki tete, ki tete metric ya ka ki facility. Ki bento ki batla mobile. Because nowadays, opilo clearly two to us opilo. Mori to runza ka eh eh in the next seven years. Ki batla po na ki nyezi. Leander is just taking each day as it comes. She's still guiding me. Even I'm a pupil in the second school, but when it comes to being okay, there's something that you have done wrong. Just feel happy at that moment. Look, when the sense of I am born alive, 
But I'm going to say when it comes to Bani Pupal Pell. Or end up on one that thing that I'm going to be paid when it ends up on the app. I will just wait. Wait up until the day two. And after that, food, and, and, and they took in Papa's landing, you took in tea, and Kuboni land, but not to Kawe Tukayo. We're talking at Kukumdo Sandu Valikang. But by the moment, Valikang, Udo Sauchonga, Pagola, I come to buy and the world she really on the Paga. The last 21 years have seen dramatic changes in the lives of all South Africans. But for all the progress that has been made, Claudia still sees so much more to be done. There's a lot of crime in our country. And the other aspect of our country that bothers me a lot is our education system our healthcare system. The lack of political will to change those things for me is very saddening, but at the same time, in country is such an amazing place. The people are so amazing. The energy. There's so many things that I love about our country. But there's also all these other things that just don't fit in the picture. The puzzle's not coming together too well.